What's up everybody? Um, I'm back on the same site where I was doing the rain gutter extensions. Now I'm on the uphill side of their driveway. And I'm gonna cut in a, a French drain right here, or a curtain drain. So it's basically gonna be maybe uh, 18 inches or two feet wide, let's say. Uh, it's an 18 inch bucket. So let's say it's gonna be two feet wide and at least two feet deep. And it's gonna run all the way down the length of this driveway and it's gonna outlet over there at the edge where it drops off into the ravine. There's a um, kind of like a creek, seasonal creek down there. Um, it's gonna pick up all the runoff that comes from this hill, which is quite a bit. It comes off the road and it hops the curb over there and then it just dumps over here. So all the water carries right over the brand new asphalt. There was no thought to drainage when they built this property whatsoever. As I find is often the case, and that's why I have a job.
Okay, we got our first load of dirt. Might be a little bit overloaded, but I know you guys want to see me dump this. This slope is too much and that weight, there's too much weight in the trailer. Two things can happen. I'm either gonna flip my truck over or break my dump trailer in half. And I don't really wanna do either of those two things today. So I'm gonna move over to plan B, which is gonna be uh, scrape out a little bit with, with the excavator. I'm not gonna lie, that absolutely sucked. That trailer dirt. I still have dirt in my trailer. Anyway, I'm gonna use the dirt here. I'm gonna try to build the road up a little bit so that it's not such a severe drop. And then hopefully I can get my next loads out. trailer of rock it's gonna be going in this trench that we dug yesterday I cut in this channel the water will dump into here from there it pitches down this direction the next thing is I'm gonna run solid pipe through here I had planned to do the curtain drain all the way out but they said they're gonna use this area as an RV axe or an RV parking pad so I 
I don't want to obstruct the access with a big old French drain. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and do an inlet, hard pipe, and bury it so that we can outlet out there. I don't know if you can make it out on the camera, but this is all um, washout from the runoff that would come down this hillside. Uh, let's walk up to the top. I'll show you exactly where this water is coming from. And you can see it all here. It's this channel that's been kind of dug out by excessive runoff. So this hill is fairly steep. I know they've got a, a ditch along the side of the road and a culvert there. So that all dumps off this side. Right about at the pole is where the road is graded to put the water in the ditch. And then after the pole there, coming down here, the road is graded to send the water the other direction, basically right toward my truck. There's a break in the curb right here. That break is what is allowing the water to come this direction. And then it makes a turn. It, the water used to go through here and then it would go down that way and then it would go, well, anyway, we walked that path. And the issue there is that it carried all that water over their parking area. So in effect, what we're gonna do here is just pick up all that surface runoff and put it in a better place than their driveway. We're gonna go ahead, take all that runoff, bury it underground, outlet, down here somewhere and send all that water into the creek. can see what I did here. That tucks in like that, coming up from the bottom. And then this piece folds over. What that does is we're double layering at the end just to make sure that we don't have anything enter this clean system because we don't want any any dirt in there so this is going to help keep it clean for years to come and then I'll address the top with more drain rock fabric. We have a good overlap of our fabrics here. You can see I've got about eight inches of overlap.
down in the hole together the hole is maybe two and a half feet deep and you'll see the pipe right here this pipe is our pickup so let's go have a look uh, that's the swale that's gonna pick up the runoff from the road and dump it in right here that's where the inlet of that pipe is I have it wrapped in some fabric and then, yeah, it's this hard line pipe underneath all the dirt. I put a bunch of water through it, so that's why, that's why there's mud there. I'm just testing the flow, make sure I have good positive flow on the way out. And this is how I tested it. I just went ahead and opened up the garden hose, full blast. It just dumps in through the, all the drain rock. Once the water hits the, the hard pan underneath, it starts to fill up. Once it gets a certain level, it enters that pipe and it escapes down the hill. Water that runs down this surface will also fall into there. And it's gonna pick up a little bit of groundwater. It'll pick up all the runoff and then it'll outlet all the water down the hill. So I'm gonna keep on going with my backfill. 
I'm gonna set the rest of the pipe and uh, then I'm gonna run one more test and let you guys see how it works. All right, I just turned on the hose. It's running full blast, which is not a lot. Looks like maybe 15 gallons a minute. Maybe. That's the water coming out of the hose. Moving about 30 feet. I think I put three pieces of pipe in here. All right, so that's good. Didn't take very long. Gonna clear, clear the mud out of the inlet or the outlet. Yeah, so the water's on its way down here. That's that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing some pieces of pipe on there. Okay, here's the French drain all done. It's about 60 feet long. And after the 60 feet, that's when it just becomes a underground pipe. It's not really a curtain drain anymore. So I buried another 50 feet of pipe. Actually, I buried about 60 feet going this way. I had an outletting right here. You guys already saw that. Yeah, not bad, huh? Now I hope it rains so we can actually see everything in action. Cleaned up pretty nice, as they say.